Village in Brunswick, Georgia is almost ready for occupancy and it comes at a time when it's just tough to find affordable housing. Hand in Hand Glen will provide shelter, nourishment and a sense of community for the city's homeless population. It's the first of its kind in Glen County and tonight Cheyenne Cole is on your side touring the facilities for us. There are 60 tiny homes here on the Grove at Coral Commons campus to house the homeless population in Brunswick. Each one has a chair and table outside on the front porch, just like this one. And inside, everything is furnished to provide for their needs. When you have strategically have to put 60 houses on four and a quarter acres, sometimes you have to sacrifice a tree. Ann Stimbler is about to see her dream become reality. She chairs the hand in hand of Glen Board, which has been working on the tiny home project since 2019. By the end of the year, dozens of people will call these 240 square feet houses home. There's a myriad of reasons why people become homeless. And even just as we all know, in the last year, rents have gone sky high. The one bedroom homes include a kitchen with appliances, a bathroom and twin bed. But it's more than a roof over their heads. On campus, there's a laundry room, classrooms and a doctor's office for primary care. Hand in Hand Glen Treasurer Linda Hagee says they want the people who live there to learn new skills. Second Harvest is going to have a pantry here and we'll have all sorts of wellness classes, nutrition, cooking, exercise, um, just things that we might take for granted that people need to know in order to take care of themselves. They're waiting on the Brunswick Housing Authority to provide vouchers before anyone moves in. All the funds have been raised by private donors, but the group is still in need of furniture for some of the homes. We're not all just out there ineffectual. We can do something if we get together and put our focus on getting something done for the homeless. Hand in Hand Glen expects people to be able to start moving in next month. Reporting in Brunswick, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.